Resting on hasting and silent as light, nor wanting nor wasting, thou rulest in night. Thy dust is thy mountains, thy soaring above. Thy clouds, which are fountains of goodness and love. Who everyone. Tonight's reading are select verses from Psalm 139. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God. I want to invite you to think for a moment about people who know you. Who do you think knows you the best of all? It might be your best friend. It might be a sister or brother, maybe it's your spouse, or maybe it's one of your parents. I want you to think about that person for a moment. How long have they known you? What secrets do you share with them? What secrets do you keep from them? How well do you think they really know you? Do they know everything about you? I know when I think about the most intimate relationships that I have, there are still things that the other person doesn't know about me, things that they do not see, feelings that I have that I do not share with them, thoughts that I keep to myself. The same is true for all of us. No one person knows us or anyone else perfectly. Yet these intimate friendships are so important to us because we feel that when, we, when others know us, and more importantly, when they love us, it somehow affirms our own existence. In Psalm 139, we hear the strange and mysterious message that God knows us in a way that no other person does or can. We hear that God is acquainted with all of our ways. God sees through the barriers we construct and the personas we put on. God knows us. And 
the knowledge that God has of us is incredibly personal and intimate, more personal and more intimate than any other person who knows us, according to this psalm. For many people, this notion that God knows us so thoroughly can be more than a little uncomfortable because we know ourselves and the darkness that we hide from others and the dark thoughts that are part of us. It sounds kind of intimidating, isn't it? That God knows all that, but nevertheless, God knows us and loves us through and through. God knows us thoroughly. And God loves us. Our relationship with God is intensely personal, but it isn't private. The intimacy God has with each of us, God desires and has with all people and all things. Know and believe this good news, that it is good news. You are known personally and intimately by God, and you are loved deeply. Amen. Will you pray with me? Loving God, we give you thanks that you created us to be who we are, that you know who we are, and that you love us. Be with us in the week ahead. Help us be secure in the knowledge that your love is unending. It's in your name that we pray. Amen.